Hello and welcome to FEM Expert. Today we will present you a basic tutorial on how to define element types and material properties in ANSYS. This tutorial is intended to be used by the very beginning users, therefore we will keep it simple. To begin with, we'll start with an already open instance of ANSYS. You should be familiarized with it. If not, you can watch our previous tutorials, then that will definitely help you. We'll go to the preprocessor, element types, add the delete. If you have non defined, there will be non defined here, and click on add. Here you'll see a list, the library of elements, element types that ANSYS has. Each one of these elements has different properties and a different purpose for different types of simulations. Mathematically, they have been defined in a different way. So each one has a specific task. Here, for example, we have beam elements, solid elements, shell elements for structural simulations. We have combination elements to simulate spring dampers, nonlinear springs, thermal elements to simulate thermal analysis, fluid elements, and so on. Circuit elements and other type of elements. So the first thing you need to do in order to perform a simulation is need to know what type of simulation you want to perform and then you need to know a little bit about the element types that are available and how to use them in order to do that you can refer to the ANSYS help here and search and read about the each one of the elements you have the reference of the elements on the right here the pipe element is 288 289 the sh solid shell is 190 so each element has its own name so for right now, to keep it simple, I'm going to show you how to select an element. Let's say we're going to select the link 180. You go to link, select 180, hit OK, and then you have the link 180 type 1. You go again and add beam 189, hit apply. If you hit apply, it will be like hitting OK, but it also will keep the this window open, which is very useful for you want to save time. We're going to select the third one, a brick 8185, hit OK, and then you have type 1 is link 180, type 2 is 189, beam 189, and type 3 is solid 185. So this is how you define the element types. You also have a lot of options here, depending on the type of element, and usually you need to read what are these options from the help because usually these options are linked to the mathematical definition of each element type. So for right now I'm going to go and hit close and I'm going to show you how to define a material property. To do that you go to material properties, material models, here you have the material model number one on the left and again depending on what type of simulation you have ANSYS will ask you different properties. So let's say we have a structural, linear, elastic, isotropic material. Here these properties you will have to know what what they mean and by to do that you have to go to the help menu and see what EX means and PRXY means and other and so on with other materials. So in this situation EX is the Young's modulus, we'll put the still Young's modulus and PRXY is the coefficient of Poisson. Uh, let's say we're going to put density to, let's say 2500 under density, hit OK, and as you'll see the material model number one has these two properties. You can add as many properties as you want, you got to be careful not to add properties that are incompatible or they cannot work together. So let's say, well, to add a, a new material, you go to material, new model, it will ask you the ID, you hit OK, then you go, let's say, for the number material number two, we want to define a mm, thermal material, and we're going to put the conductivity isotropic, and it asks, is, asks us this property. Again, you have to read about it, and you need to know what you're defining. This stuff is mathematical stuff, and you have to have some knowledge in order to properly introduce those values. And let's say specific here again here. I'll put any numbers and hit OK. So what we have here is material number one with these properties and material number two with these other properties. You can keep doing that for as many materials as you have or as you need. So for right now I'm just going to click 
okay, close on this window and I'm gonna briefly go back to this, those two steps to the element types element type add a delete here we have the material the element types that we previously defined to add more just click on add and for the material properties material properties material models and keep adding as many materials as you want I'm gonna close this and now I'm gonna close and sys quit no save so now you know how to define an element type and you know how to define a material property. Please keep in touch because we will release uh, soon. We will start releasing more tutorials, and we will show you how to perform simulations, starting from the very basic to more complex simulations. And well, for right now, we hope you enjoy this presentation, and we would like to thank you for your attention. For more tutorials, please visit our community and follow us on the social networks.